Welcome back, guys. This is the latest update of our 25-way graphene coatings and sealants longevity test. This being update number 13, or the 11-month marks, so we're almost here at the one-year mark. The amount of pollen we're experiencing right now is just absolutely incredible. As you can see here, we've also had a decent amount of rain. The last 30 days weather, as well as the lifetime weather that this hood has seen is on your screen here. And if you'd like to support the channel, all you need to do is hit that like button, subscribe, and of course comment down below if you have any experience with any of these products. If you're just joining us, please be sure to check out the entire series of each of these videos as there is a ton of work that goes into the research, prep, install, and continued testing of all of these. As usual, we'll foam it down using Chemical Guys Honeydew Snow Foam, rinse it, foam it again, wash it with an Australian sheep's wool wash mitt, and then of course rinse to inspect all, all the hydrophobic properties before we dry everything off. So with that out of the way, let's jump right into it and see how things are looking. All right, so jumping right into it, Drive Auto Nano and Drive Auto Graphene, those have been sort of looking like they're weak since around the 30 day mark, it's been kind of acting like that, at least the graphene product. The Drive Auto Nano still looks like it's doing all right, but they're both pretty worse for wear. 4210H Graphene, that is the Amazon only coating, looks like it's doing all right. And IGL Easy Graphene, which I believe is rated for one year, it's looking like it's gonna probably make it to the one year mark. Graphene pre-production sample A, I believe that one was also a one-year product or rated for it. And Glossit Graphene, looks like it's hanging in there as well. Moved on down to IGL Kinzo Standard, which has since been replaced with IGL Kinzo Graphene. Both of those look like they're hanging in there. In my 38-way test, the IGL Kinzo Graphene lasted a year and a month or a year and two months before it had failed. Looks like it's gonna make it at least to the year mark so far. And Glass Parency Graphene Spray versus the coating. Both of those are not looking too great either. Look at that. So not to the point where we would call them failed, but they're pretty close. Like, you know, look, seeing as how they're looking right now, this would tell me they're probably rated for a year. If I, if I didn't know anything else about them, looking at how they're acting here, extreme solutions, graphene spray and the coating sort of in the same boat. They're very similar products. Extreme solutions, gra uh, glass, parency, atoms, all of those ethos, very, very similar products. And you can see they're behaving very similarly. So still out of a spray, you know, you're looks like you're going to get nearly a year. That's pretty decent. Some of these are lower cost products. I wouldn't go as far as saying they're cheap, but you know, you're getting a year out of it. That's pretty decent. You can just reapply it. SPS graphene. That's a professional only product looking pretty good. Sorry about my parrot in the background. If you hear her, she likes to talk when I'm narrating. And Turtle Wax Graphene Flex Wax. Very, very, very close to calling that one failed, but we'll leave it as weak. It uh, looks like it's probably gonna make it to the year mark and that's about it. So again, let me know if you guys have used any of these products. Are you getting similar lifespan? In the past, some of you guys have pretty much been in agreement with what I'm seeing, what I'm getting here what you guys are getting. So I'm curious to hear your thoughts and opinions. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you soon.